What's going on, y'all? It's your girl, Tadisha, coming to you again. How are you doing? Good. I'm glad. I really, really am. I'm coming to you today on Martin Luther King Jr. Day. I'm coming because I just want to do my part to society. I feel like Martin Luther King did so much for our society back in the day. I wanted to come and give my little contribution to society. <music> Okay, let's get into it. First of all, and if you are a Caucasian watching this video, I hope that it's educational, and I hope that I don't offend anyone, because that's not my intention, but I am getting ready to dispel some myths and stereotypes about black people. Let's get into it. Number one, all black people don't like chicken and watermelon. Fried chicken and watermelon. That is not the staple meal of all black people. Some of us do eat salads. Some of us eat vegetables. Heck, some of us eat foods from other ethnicities, okay? So don't think that we just only sit up and eat. We got a freezer full of chicken thighs, chicken legs, chicken drums, chicken wings, drumettes, chicken tenders. No, we don't all just sit up and eat fried chicken, okay? Keep that in your mind. All black women are not single mothers or somebody's baby mama, okay? Some of us are married. Some of us are in relationships. Some of us don't have children, okay? So every time you see a black woman, she's not somebody's baby mama. She could just very well be a black girl. Yeah, it's possible. <laughs> All of us don't live in the hood. No. All of us weren't born in the hood or in the projects or in the ghetto. So some of us don't know anything about the hood, ghetto, or the projects. And quite frankly, if we went to the ghetto, hood, or projects, we might end up robbed right along with anybody, any member of any other race. So don't come across as we just have a hood mentality and we know what's going on in the hood. But some of us are completely clueless. All of us don't fight and are violent. I know Jerry Springer would have you to believe that every black person that you will ever meet will run up to you and start swinging on you for no apparent reason. That is not necessarily true. Some of us can't fight. Some of us couldn't fight our way out of a wet paper bag if given the opportunity to do so. So, don't think that you just feel like you gotta call the police every time you see a black person. It's not true. You don't have to. Some of us don't have a criminal record on probation or on parole. Some of us have a clean criminal record. I would be one of them. I don't have any probation. Well, I do have some traffic tickets. But I don't have any criminal probation. I'm not on parole. And I don't have a criminal record. So, yeah. All of us are not criminals. Sorry. I know Fox News would have you to believe that. But we're not. Sorry. And... We all don't believe that Jesus was black. And we all don't have a picture of black Jesus on our walls. Some of us recognize Jesus was a Jew. Now, I'm not going to debate that. I'm just telling you what the Bible says. So, moving on. All of the boys, men, males in the African American community do not play basketball. All of them do not play football. Matter of fact, there are several of them who are not even athletically inclined to catch, carry, hold throw a ball okay some of them just not it's not like that every time god pushes one of us out into the universe he says you know what i'm going to give that one the athletic gene no it always doesn't happen that way some of us are some of us aren't <laughs> moving on all black people don't love kool-aid sweet tea and red or great drink that's not true. We don't all love Kool-Aid, sweet tea, red, or great drink. Some of us drink water. Can you believe it? Water, orange juice, milk, green tea, all kinds of things. We don't all just drink Kool-Aid or those 79 cent can Snapples at the, at the uh, gas station. Sorry, we don't. All black women don't have a attitude, boo-boo. All of us don't have an attitude on a consistent basis. Now, everybody can get mad. Everybody can get agitated. But unlike what the TV and media would like to show you, all of us ain't rolling our neck 24-7. All of us ain't got our finger in your face pointing at you and loud for no apparent reason. That's not what we do. All of us do not do that, okay? Now, 
Moving on. As much as people would like you to believe, black people, we don't eat soul food every day. We're not sitting up eating chitlins, hog logs, collard greens, black eyed peas, sweet potatoes, cornbread, fried chicken, macaroni. We're not sitting up eating that every day. Like, first of all, who has the time to cook all of that every day? Big Mama and them used to back in the day, but um, nowadays, I'm trying to go to Chipotle. I'm trying to get that burrito bowl, okay? I'm trying to go to Chick-fil-A because they got them bomb salads with them chicken tenders, but okay, so yeah, we do like chicken. I'm, I'm not even going to lie. We like chicken. But, <laughs> being fair, we all don't eat soul food. Some of us don't like it. Some of us recognize that it's not always healthy. Dispel that myth. Some of us are not on welfare or food stamps. As much as I would enjoy to have a check come to me every single month for no apparent reason other than just have it come to me, all of us are not on welfare. We all don't get a check at the end of the month just for sitting on our butt. Some of us get up every single day, go to work, deal with traffic, deal with people we don't like, deal with people that don't like us, and get a paycheck every Friday, or bi-weekly, or monthly. Yes, a lot of us do. And some of us actually have high-paying jobs. Can you believe it? Some of us make six figures, five figures. Yes, we're not all just sitting around collecting food stamps and on welfare. Moving right along. If, if you ever walk past a black person, they won't steal your purse nine times out of ten. <laughs> You don't have to lock your door every time you see one walking towards your car. <laughs> we're not going to rob you. We're not going to mug you. Sorry, I know you were expecting that exciting experience, but not today. I got somewhere to be, so I won't be robbing or mugging you today. All right? <laughs> Moving on. Every time you see a black man dressed down with a nice necklace on, he's not a rapper. <laughs> he's not going to spit a few bars for you. He's not going to flame the mic for you. Sorry, I know you were expecting a show, but yeah, we're not doing that today. Every guy who walks past you with a chain and dress down and a ball cap is not a rapper. Yeah, unfortunately. Just because a black person has dreads, <clears throat> it doesn't mean that they're Jamaican man. It may mean they like dreads. It may mean they like the style. They're not necessarily Jamaican. So stop thinking that every black person with dreads is from Jamaica or the Caribbean or any other island. Some of them be right from like <laughs> Weetumpka, Alabama. Sorry, is that a real city? I don't know. Anyway, but you get my point. All black people don't have big everything. We don't all have big lips, big eyes, big nose, big boobs, and for the males, big... You know. All of us don't. <laughs> There's some black people out there, black guys who, uh, you know, you know. So don't think that that is just the way that it is. Every black man that you come across will not be Mandingo. Every black woman that you come across will not be bootylicious. It's just a stereotype. Don't think that every black person you come across is either on drugs or on alcohol or uh, alcoholic. We don't all smoke kush. A lot of us do, but we all don't smoke kush. We all don't get drunk. Some of us are alcohol and drug free. So don't think that we're all just ready to just get high and get drunk at the drop of a dime because that's not necessarily true. Again, some of us have to be to work in the morning and can't afford to get drunk and high every single day. All of us don't invest in Jordans. I've yet to buy my first pair of Jordans for myself. <laughs> I don't even know what Jordans feel like on my feet. They look cute on other people's feet, but I don't see myself spending $200 on a pair of tennis shoes. $100 on a pair of tennis shoes. Nah, I'm just not going to do it. I'm going to take that money and do something else. But whoever does, that's up to them. It's their money. They can do it. But don't think that every black person owns a pair of Jordans. And last but definitely not least, as much as I respect him, as much as I feel proud to have him as the commander-in-chief of my country, every black person didn't vote for Obama. <laughs> Some of us didn't even vote. 
Go figure. So I hope this has helped someone out to realize that, look, stereotypes are just that. Stereotypes. And a lot of times you can really go through life being misinformed about people of other races. So I hope I've helped someone understand that, look, stereotypes, throw them out the window. They really mean nothing. So until next time, this has been your girl, Tanisha, giving you a big old hug from afar. Bye!